Yo, what's happening, people? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I do hope you lot are doing well today, if you can be. Welcome to your match review of Chelsea's 2-1 loss in the FA Cup final to Arsenal, the London derby, big one. Now, it's important I get this in early. Congratulations, Arsenal. You played well. Aubameyang is absolutely different class, as he has been for Arsenal throughout his tenure there. They played well without the ball and, you know, did what they have to do. Mikel Arteta set them up appropriately to play against Frank Lampard's Chelsea, who have got good players and have been in good form. But pff, we were pretty unlucky for injuries. Obviously, Pedro, very sad scenes, him going off and Azpilicueta doing his hamstring and, of course, Pulisic as well, our most threatening and informed player. So we've been incredibly unlucky with injuries. But one thing that you wouldn't say is necessarily down to luck or bad luck is incredibly poor indeed very very bad officiating now you know me if you watch football therapy and you know my channel i never dig out referees ever you know i rarely talk about them or anything but today was a pretty poor display from anthony taylor oh my word just booking mountain for doing nothing just giving every call to arsenal it's genuinely the stats are massively in their favor sending off mateo kovacic was probably nothing short of a disgrace i think that's probably common consensus and of course, that's not Arsenal's fault. They play for it. So um, you know, this is not a, a criticism towards Arsenal. This is very much uh, the officials. It, it ruined what was an excellent contest, in my opinion. And, you know, I'm not going to be hyped up and excited about today's videos because ultimately, I'm a Chelsea fan and I want to be super objective like I always am. But, man, this was just dumb. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new to Football Therapy, we're past 80k. Usually I'm very happy and excited, understandably not today, but please do consider subscribing if you're new and also if you want to cheer me up, or probably won't, but if you want to try and cheer me up, drop a like on this video. Thanks very much. So there goes the season. Ultimately, Frank Lampard reached an FA Cup final and he was in the top four joint on points with third place of Manchester United. A very successful season, ultimately, for Frank, but... You Chelsea were heavy favourites going into this game. I think they were like odds on to win. Arsenal were three to one. But this is just deja vu of the 2017 final, wasn't it? Credit needs to be going to Mikel Arteta. He, he did the right thing in terms of setting up with a free back system. I mean, obviously got the rub of the green in terms of the referee calls. But everything he did everything right in my opinion. And Aubameyang, captain Arsenal, he did the business when he needed to with a couple of goals. So goals that were scored from Aubameyang, a brace, and of course Christian Pulisic. And to be honest, man, Chelsea looked the better side in the opening stages of the first half. Um, I'm not going to open up the analysis screen, but take a look at the who scored match center graphic over my face now both teams went with a free back system Chelsea opted with or should I say Frank Lampard opted with a Willy Caballero in goal understandably Reese James and Marcus Alonso and in the wing back positions and the same back three of Rudiger, Zuma and Azpilicueta. The double pivot of Kovacic and Jorginho and the front three of Olivier Giroud, Pulisic on the left, and Willian not on the match they scored today. Very curious indeed. So Mason Mount uh, completes the front three. Right, let's get rid of the graphic over my face. Okay, so pretty much I was happy with this. I understand Golo Kante was coming back into fitness, but he hadn't played, so it made a lot of sense to play this exact line up with um, Kovacic and Jorginho in midfield who both played pretty well when they were both on the pitch they you know did what they do they play out of the press very well they've got good chemistry with each other uh, Caballero and goal was fine you know Rudiger probably was the biggest letdown of the center halves and Reese James and Marcus Alonso both did what was expected of them as pretty much did everyone Pulisic was the shining bright star um, even you know apart from his goal he had another great chance as well he looked incredible uh, Mason Mount was decent he was making excellent runs over and over and over but to be honest in this game we probably did miss Willian tracking back I think if Willian was on the right wing we'd be a lot more defensively sound with Aubameyang running through the lines down that left hand channel so you know ultimately I'm not one of these people that say we absolutely should keep Willian at all costs because Chelsea are pretty much 
completely revitalizing their attack next season and a 31 32 year old winger you know it's not necessarily mandatory to keep him so i understand that but in this game it would have been good to have him we saw loads of substitute appearances of <laughs> as Piliqueta conceded the penalty which wasn't his finest moment and then his hamstring went i felt really bad for the captain of chelsea because he was in tears and he out of anyone else in the squad absolutely bleeds blue and he would have hated that today so he comes off um Christensen comes on, there's a bit of a jig around in the back line in terms of the centre back positions and we move on from there. Pulisic doing his hamstring in the second half is awful as well because he scored the goal, he's our best attacker at the moment, such a bright spark, it was looking so good early doors of him and his goal. Sadly he comes off, Pedro comes on though and you think well this could be the perfect send off for Pedro if he can do something positive for us here. He looks alright, he will look pretty good, um, you know, Hudson and Roy comes on later, so it's Pedro first, I understand that, bring the senior mind on first, bring the more settled player. He looks alright, obviously he dislocates his shoulder it looks like, which Roma will not be happy about prior to his move, um, hopefully that doesn't mess up his move for him, I know he hasn't officially signed I don't think, but you know, it's a, it's a shoulder injury, it's not a leg injury, so he should be okay, hopefully for him. Um, Mason Mount, yeah, makes good runs, and Giroud pff, did some good combinational play. He got the assist for the Pulisic opener, so he did his job really. Ross Barkley came on, didn't do much. I mean, I understand Frank wanted to bring on a midfielder of his type over perhaps with Ruben Loftus Cheek, not needing to drive from deep, needing to combine on the edge of the box. You know, often Ross Barkley is good at that. Hudson Adoy didn't really get a chance to express himself. He, he really is one for the future at this point. He has showed moments. But I, did, you know, I wasn't banking on him coming on and changing the game. Now, of course, Arsenal got their goals from a penalty from Aspilicueta. It was a bit soft, but it was a penalty. He had his arm on his shoulder, and Aubameyang did not dive. He was excellent in this game. I do not want to criticise Aubameyang. But it's one of those you know, goals that you see the replay. He's got his shoulder on him. Aubameyang's not diving, but it's a light shoulder. They ultimately go down for momentum. It is a penalty, but it's just a bit wet. Fair enough, you know, it's nothing too dumb from Azpi Laqueta, but it's a bit disappointing before he comes off. And the penalty is dispatched beautifully from Aubameyang. Now, the other goal is when, you know, Chelsea get done. I think it might be a really good mistake. I, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, it's one of those moments where you think, Ugh. But Chelsea, like I said, the opening 25 minutes or whatever it was, they were completely dominant. Arsenal come back in the game, so it's a game of two halves in the first half. And in the second half, Chelsea often are on top in terms of possession and offensive play, but Arsenal are being responsible, they're sitting back, and, you know, as Chelsea's players go down injured more and more and more, and, um, you know, Mateo Kovacic is sent off, and I don't want to be something like a broken record, I've never winched about refereeing, ever. It was just a, such a terrible decision to send him off, and from such an influential player, it really did ruin the contest, and again, I must uh, reiterate, nothing on Arsenal, they deserve the win, but in terms of the context and from a sort of neutral, as much as I can be, perspective and objective, that's just dumb. Anyway, Chelsea don't give up, which is a positive sign, they go on, they try and score a goal, and you know, they get some good chances in the closing stages of the game, making multiple changes, because Frank Lampard and Jody Morris's hands are forced, they have to do that. And Arsenal see out the game. In fact, Chelsea ended the game with nine men because Frank Lampard understandably makes all changes trying to change the game, but Pedro's shoulder dislocates or whatever that injury is, and he actually sadly gets stretched off. So pretty much the game just fizzles out from there. A lot of time wasting from Arsenal. Chelsea probably don't get granted the additional stoppage time on top of that. But, you know, what's the point at that point? Chelsea have got nine players. Uh, they're not getting much from Anthony Taylor anyway. It's a sad thing, but, you know, Frank Lampard... Finishes the season with Chelsea with a top four finish and the cup final, which is you know, an excellent season. It's a frustrating way to go out because if we lost 2-1 to Arsenal when they're playing like that, it would be fair enough. They played well, Chelsea lost, okay, but to, you know, it does leave a sour taste getting so many injuries, three really significant injuries. <laughs> you know, they, some people would argue there are three most influential players. Ace Pulikweta, the captain, Kovacic, the player of the season, and Pulisic, the most attacking, best player we have in terms of attacking talent. All those players going off, it's really, really frustrating and disappointing, but hey, this is football that we move. Chelsea is very much a, you know, a working progress. It's a young, exciting project. They've done well to get there, and we have to sort of really look at it from that. In terms of notable positive player performances, of course, Christian Pulisic needs a massive shout with his goal and his other chances. Mason Mount made excellent runs, but... 
no difference maker there. Giroud got the assist, like I said, very good play from him. Kovacic and Jorginho both did well in the midfield in terms of playing out of the press and generally progressing the ball forward. But as the game slipped away from them, as Kovacic obviously got sent off, that that simply ended. Um, Alonso did a couple of good movements. I'm pretty happy with him generally. You know, he did what he needed to do. Uh, Reese James, he, he probably should have received the ball a few more times, which is a bit unfair for him. Uh, but you know, he had a shot, it was pretty wild. He needs to take more shots because we know he's got a good shot in him in terms of scoring opportunity. And the defense didn't really play well ultimately. Um, you know, as Perquesta, bless him, in tears, had an awful moment there. Rudiger hasn't been great at all for us lately. Christensen was okay, I think he conceded a foul though in limited minutes, uh, like a bad foul. And Zuma was alright, he was probably the best. Still not saying much, is it? The subs like Barkley, Abraham, and Hudson Adore, I'm not going to really rate because the game was slipping away, everything was falling apart, and it's very difficult, you know, unless it's Eden Hazard coming on that's going to do it all himself. It's very difficult to critique those guys. So anyway, massively disappointing, but this happens, boys and girls. Hey, this is football. We move. Chelsea is an exciting project. See what happens next season. We've got excellent players to join uh, already. So that's great. Hopefully we'll have more good news in terms of the rebuild. Congratulations to Arsenal. Uh, they did deserve it ultimately. It wasn't their fault the ref was bad. Leave me your comments about how you feel down in the comments section below. Please do drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you're new. Look after yourselves, guys. I'll see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick. Got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I laugh me, baby.